Hey guys, this is a tutorial explaining how to install and play Pixelmon 500. First off, if you don't already have Java 8, you will need to download Java 8. You can find the links in the video description. There's two of them. One is 32-bit, the other is 64-bit. To know which one you need, open the Start menu, right-click Computer, and click Properties. In there, you will see the section called System Type. My system is 64-bit. Yours might say 32. If it says 32, download the 32-bit Java. Once you have Java 8 installed, proceed further with the installation, which is, if you don't already have it, download Minecraft. If you're not sure where to get Minecraft, you have to go to minecraft.net slash download, or you can also find the link in the video description. Once in the website, click the download button, download the installer and install it. You basically click next and then click finish until it's done. Once, you're d once you've done that you should have a minecraft.exe file on your desktop. Open that up and it should greet you with the login page where you have to enter your premium Minecraft account credentials. Once you've done that, you should be greeted with a page like this. If you are, everything's good. You can now close the launcher and proceed further. Next step is to download Forge. You can also find the link to the Forge in the video description. Um, once you have it downloaded, open, open the file and it will show you a window like this. Ensure that it says Forge 1.10.2 and that install client is selected. If both are true, then click OK. That will open up a progress bar where it's showing you the progress of downloading the Forge files. Once the download is complete, a window will pop up informing you that the installation was successful. Just click OK. Once the Forge installation is complete, your next step is to open the Minecraft launcher and in it, at the bottom left, you see Profile. Select Forge and click Edit Profile. Ensure that under Use Version, it says Release 1.10.2-Forge. If that is the case, your next step is to check the JVM Arguments checkbox, and then a window becomes editable. In it, the very first part is XMX1G. This is the amount of memory you want to allocate to your Minecraft. I suggest to set it to no less than 2 gigabytes. If your computer has 8 gigabytes or more of RAM, then you can set 4 gigabytes or so. Feel free to experiment with this. You can't really break it. Once you've done that, press the Open Game Directory button. Then a window will pop up. This is your Minecraft folder. In it, you have to create uh, mods folder. So right click and select create new folder. Call the folder mods. Then open it up and in the video description there's a link to Pixelmon. Download the Pixelmon mod. I already have it here. And then just drag it in there. Once that is done you can now close the mods folder and click save profile and now you click play and it will download all the necessary files and launch the game then minecraft will open up once it's done downloading everything and now you gotta give it a minute to initialize pixelmon and load all the mod files Once it's done doing that, um, Minecraft will load and you will see a mods button is there. Hold on, let me disable the game sounds. Then when you click the mods, it should show Minecraft Forge and Pixelmon. If it does, you did everything correctly and now you can play Pixelmon. If you're not sure where you can play Pixelmon, I welcome you to our server. A real nice friendly place. And it has one of the very first Pixelmon 500 beta servers. So, 
just to show that it actually works let me just join the server and as you can see the server works fine this is pixelmon500 you're welcome to join it's kinda great